good morning. Oh, he's not in there. Where'd he go? Looking for the elf. It's 6.43. We gotta get dressed and eat, bub. Come on, let's go eat. We gotta go. We'll look for him when we're done. Just now getting up. It's one of them mornings. I'm very sleepy. Very sleepy. Where's your remote? What? What the heck? Oh, my pillow! Where'd he go? Mommy! Where'd he come from? I don't know. Maybe when I was sleeping, he wanted my one here and came to me. I think he was being sneaky. Huh? Yeah, when I was... What happened? the heck? Maybe he went on my pillow. I think you wanted to lay in your bed. I think he's sleepy too. I am exhausted. I do not want to get up. I'm watching the view. Yep. But I want to get his outfit picked out, have him eat, and then we're getting ready to go. So, let's go. You ready for school? Yeah. Alright, get on the other side. He wanted to bring his old book bag. It has dinosaurs skateboarding and riding a scooter. And he's wearing a peanut butter and jelly shirt. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly time shirt. I know, it's so silly. It doesn't have the dancing banana. That's okay. But maybe one of them. Are you ready? Today's Friday. Yeah! Today's your last day. Yeah. And then it's the weekend. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo Let's go tomorrow. We can sleep in. We gotta do a little jig. Well, I don't know what our plans are for today. So I'm hoping when my boyfriend gets home, he'll let me know if we have any plans or not. Because we still have a lot of stuff to get done. We gotta finish cleaning the house and we have to go get our tree. So I don't know when we're gonna do that. But maybe at this day. I don't know. We'll have to ask daddy, huh? Yeah. And then next Friday on the 16th, my brother Andy is graduating, so we have to go to that, and I'm very excited and I'm very proud of him, because he has worked very hard, and has been dealing with a lot, <laughs> and he's been away from his baby and everything, so I know that's hard on him. I know it would be sh difficult for me to be away from my baby, I know that. You're not a baby, I'm talking about cold. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get this mister to school and then we'll check back in. Ready? Say see yeah. you guys later. See you guys later. Peace. Let's go. Maybe have a good day, okay? Okay. Give me a hug. Peace. I love you. Have love a good you. day, okay? okay. Bye. <laughs> Peace. Be good. Happy Friday, buddy. Well, I'm back. I dropped Mr. off. I wish I filmed the conversation, but before I was leaving, the principal and the counselor, some of the teachers stand outside and greet the kids. And the principal was like, tell me about their school benchmark test for like the I don't know what it was. I can't remember. My words are, my brain's all jambled up. I can't remember all she said about the, all oh, benchmark tests. That's what it is. She said that the teacher should send something home soon, but she wanted to tell me because she wanted to put a smile on my face. <laughs> they said he did very well. Like he excelled on it. And she wanted to tell me that, and I got so excited. I was so proud of him. But she was just letting me know how well he did. She's like, I saw that, and I saw you, and I had to tell you. <laughs> so I am very excited, and I'm very proud of him. And then, of course, I started making them laugh because I said, oh, I'm so happy for him. And then I was like, well, he gets his brains from his daddy. <laughs> and they just lost it. I was like, it's true. And they were like, no, that's not true. I was like, it's true. <laughs> and But it was so funny. And it was so sweet of her to tell me that. 
but I'm very proud of him. I didn't know anything about the testing or whatever. They said they should send, their teacher should send something home about it soon. But she said he did very well on it. And I'm going to have to wait until my boyfriend gets home to tell him that. Because I like telling him that stuff in person. Because I like seeing his reaction. But he's going to be excited as well. I hope we get the test score soon. I don't think they'd be on online yet. I might have to check. But anyway, I just had to say that. Now, I'm going to go eat something. I don't really eat breakfast. I'm going to try and get like a little snack or something and go lay down for a bit. Because I don't know what happened last night, but I got very dizzy and I still kind of feel woozy today. But anyway, I just wanted to film that for, not just for this, but so I can remember. And if I see this clip, I'll be like, oh yeah, I guess I'll enter that. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm going to feed these cats because they're bothering me. And then... Wait until my boyfriend gets home and see what the plan is for the day. So, see ya. Well, we got Andrew. I'm carrying his book bag because he didn't wear his other one. This one doesn't have buckles. Let me see your shirt, dude. Daddy got you that in, I think he went to Georgia. I think he went to Georgia. Georgia. I can't remember. He went there for work and he went to an aquarium and got that cool shirt for him. Huh. Yeah. Daddy's at home because he has to go into work tonight to do overtime. So he's taking a nap. Huh. Yep. Are you hungry? Yeah. What do you want? Da I I I don't touch. Come on. Oh, it's Touching. You look cool. <laughs> Get away from the road. All right, let's go feed the boy. Well, we are back home. Daddy's yeah. taking a big nap. Kinder egg. And he got some candy. I love your shirts. Peanut butter but, and jelly. <clears throat> it's folder. He has a cute little snowflake. So freaking cute. He did well on his homework. He did some more art. Threw his stuff and check it real quick. And then... We'll try and do something. I'm not sure. I know I have to do Andrew's laundry because he has to go back to work later tonight for overtime. So he's going to be exhausted. And then I'm going to have to make him some dinner to take with him because I don't think he'll have time to eat or anything. <clears throat> so I have to pack it to go for him. Unless he wakes up early and gets a shower, but I don't know. It depends on his mood, I'm, guess, I'm guessing. But I'm going to go through his folder and then throw his laundry in and then we'll see what we're gonna do I don't know <laughs> he also has this it's watercolors it's so pretty especially the back it's so pretty it, it just bled through but it's still pretty <laughs> oh my goodness he is so stinking cute you sit so crazy what are you doing <laughs> oh, I a second I just had to film that. I thought that was funny. <laughs> Andrew's having a little snack and relaxing. Yeah. What toy did you get? I got a... Ooh, it's a Christmas one. What is that? Let me zoom in. Hold on. Let me see. That is a bell. That's a lady bell. Super cute. Yes, we can build it. But he is hanging out, enjoying his time off, because he has no school tomorrow. And he's just loving life. And I actually get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. I feel bad for my boyfriend, because he has to get up so early for work. I feel terrible, because he never gets enough sleep as it is. And he has to wake up super early for work. And now, he's taking a nap. Because he has to go in later tonight and then he gets back tomorrow. The same time he gets off, so I feel so terrible. And this little butthead, his face on furniture and clothes, anything he can get his face on. 
And he just rubs it everywhere. It's so weird. <laughs> He's so cute, but oh my goodness. Thank you for rubbing your dirty face all over the bed. Well, the couch. Oh, you need a mint, man. Oh my gosh. You stink. You need a bath. You need a mint and you need a bath. You smell. Get down, you're muddy. Ugh. Of course, the weather's been crazy and our yard's muddy because they tore, tore it up. So, the, along the fence line's a mud hill. So, they like to run in that and bark at everybody. So, they're dirty. That's why my floors are always nasty. I hate my kitchen floor because it's the white tile. Well, not it's not tile. It's um a laminate. No, it's not a laminate. I don't know. It's that it's that flooring stuff that you roll out and like staple and hammer to the ground. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. But either way, it's annoying because it's white. And it gets so dirty all the time, especially during rain, muddy weather. I just give up when the na the weather's nasty. I'm mopping it sometimes because it's just, it's so annoying. Well, hon, if you need help, come here. But I'm going to help him with this because he's getting frustrated and Mr. wants attention. He wants to go back out, but he just wants to go outside and bark, so I don't know. And after I'm done helping Andrew, I might call my dad and talk to him for a little bit. Because I haven't seen him since Thanksgiving. So. Yeah. Need help? Yeah. Okay. This big butt thinks he can be cute and get out of getting off the furniture. Because they are not allowed on this couch. Every night when we go to bed, I am tired of hair and the furniture getting messed up, I pick this couch up and I stand it on that side every night. And I get a workout in, but I don't care. It's not heavy. It is heavy because it has a bed in it, but still. I'm not dealing with any more furniture getting messed up. They can lay in the old chair or that one chair. I don't care. But this couch is no bueno. No. Mm -mm. But he thinks he can get away with it. But no, because he stinks, and he's hairy, and you're dirty, and you blend in because it's really dark in here. Like, uh, this house is interesting. There's a few things wrong with this house that I dislike, but one of them is there's no light. No light fixtures, anything in this room. The only light source we have at night is that lamp over there in the corner. We use the hallway or the stair light or the kitchen light. And during the day, if I'm in the mood, I'll have the curtains open. But more the majority of the time, I like it closed because we get enough light. Turn it off, please. It's daytime. And when it's daytime, I keep the lights off because I don't like the way it looks. Get off. He is such a big baby. Get down. Ah, your toy fell. It's over there. But I don't know what it is. People think it's weird. I'm like, well, it's daytime. We don't need the light. And also, I just don't like the way it feels or looks when the light is on during the day. Like, I don't know. It just triggers me for some reason. I guess I've just always grown up like that. If it's daytime, turn the light off. But whenever my boyfriend or someone has the light on and it's daylight and the windows and stuff are open and they still turn it on... It triggers me. It makes me so angry. <laughs> it's so annoying. I don't know why. My dad's like that too. My mom was as well. But even during the day, like if I'm feeling blah and tired, I keep the curtain closed or I just want my privacy. Because we got some big windows. We don't get a lot of we don't get a lot of privacy. And then if I'm up to, I open the curtain. But the way our TV is with the glare, it hits the TV, so I have to keep the curtain closed sometimes, so that's also one detail I don't like either. But anyway, it's a nice house. It just needs to be fixed. There's a lot that needs to be fixed about this house. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very old house, I think. It's pretty old. But whoever built it wasn't 
all there. You know, it didn't make sense of what they thought it made sense. And that was normal for a house, but it's not. Like, whoever patched the ceiling too? These big markings. They patched all this up. It needs patched up over here too. It, it came on done. But they didn't even paint over it. They just have this random white strip across the ceiling. When we painted the living room, because we painted it like a light gray, like last year. But this paint, it's hard to wash because my boyfriend thought he put enough layers on it, but he didn't because it was it was late and he couldn't see because where it was so light painted. So whenever I go to clean the walls, like the dog's markings and stuff, some of the paint comes off. Or it just, I, I don't know. That I can go on and on. I'm grateful for this house. But at the same time, there's a few things. If I had money, I would so fix it. Because it just doesn't make sense. And some of the things in our bathroom and in Andrew's office, they were working on it when they first moved in. Because Andrew lived here with him. It was him and his best friend and another guy. They he had two roommates. And they lived here for a while. They were getting that back office cleaned up and worked on. Because a long time ago, the ceiling caved through and it flooded or something. I don't know. But they were getting a fix and everything. But their old roommate got impatient. And before they can finish plastering or whatever it is. I don't know the terms. They He painted over it because he got impatient. He wanted to move in already. So it never got finished. He didn't. They didn't get to properly get it done. He just gave up. So they never finished it. So it looks like crap. And for some reason, their old roommate, they he wanted to block the closet. There's a closet in there. He blocked it off because he didn't want it. But he didn't realize later on. One, he needed a closet. Two. The water tank or whatever it is is in that closet. Whatever the water source is is in there. And he blocked it. So that hole that you always see in the background, his best friend had to punch through it so they could turn the water on or off. And then he needed a closet afterwards. So he wanted to use the hallway closet that was meant to be for storage. So, like I said, I can go on and on. It just... It's crazy that per the way that person was thinking and how he done things. That's why some of the room in there is all messy and painted, like you can tell. That wasn't them. That was their old roommate. He thought it was fine. No, it wasn't done at all. And then when, we, when he got moved out, we moved in. Because we used to live at his mama's. So when we moved in here... His friend was still here, I think, or was leaving. I'm not sure. But anyway, we were going to finish fixing that room, but then COVID hit, and then the prices went up. We said, you know what? We're going to hold off on that. <laughs> and like two or three years later, we still haven't finished that room, but it, it is what it is. And then... Before he fully moved into that office, he was upstairs in the turtle room next to our bedroom. Because it's kind of like, our room's like a loft area. And then there's the bathroom, and then there's another room where the turtle is. He was in there. And then my dad then lived here for a, with us for a while. My brothers had this office, and my dad had Andrew's room. And Andrew slept upstairs at the time with us, because he had a dollar bed. So... They all lived here, and then they moved back out. And then... my car away. I think after that, Andrew eventually moved back down. Andrew moved downstairs because the ceiling's upstairs. He's 6'3". The ceilings... There's like this much of a gap with his head in the ceiling up there. And he was playing with his VR one night and knocked the ceiling. And he, he kind of chipped it a little bit, thankfully. But he's too tall for that room upstairs. So he came down here. And then, like, last year, the beginning of last year, a flood happened. And then my godmother moved in with us, which 
I'm very I was very happy with because we were kind of drifted apart because I haven't been around her since I was young because I used to live with her all the time during the summer. <laughs> She's like my second mommy. But anyway, she had a flood. It was crazy. And then she moved in with us. And then they moved back out. I wish they still lived here because, oh, we love picking on Big Andrew. It was so fun. And her cute little demon dogs. She had little tiny little chihuahuas and wiener dogs or whatever the heck they were. I think they were chihuahua mix. I think so, yeah. They were t tiny little demons. They were so cute. <sighs> I miss them. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking about kicking the boys out just having her and her daughter come back in with me. And we'll just take over the house. <laughs> I don't know. We were kind of hoping that we can like fix the shop and turn that into like an apartment area but that's impossible for like plumbing and crap out there and it would cost a lot if it was possible but if it was i'd be like hey you can stay here <laughs> i don't know but anyway me and andrew are just gonna hang out i've done a lot of talking so this video is probably going to be really long but i have nothing else better to do oh i gotta go do andrew's laundry that's what i need to do Okay, done with the ramble. But like I said, this house is interesting. <laughs> but sometimes when you see the background, some stuff look crazy, messed up. Just don't even question it, because I try not to question it sometimes. It's just, it's a fixer-upper. It's definitely a fixer-upper. <laughs> like, it's a nice house, but it has, it has its laws you know but we're still grateful for it we're always grateful for it but Andrew's playing his game he's playing a monster truck game but I'm gonna go do Andrew's laundry and I guess we'll check back in a little bit yeah Ooh, I look crazy but anyway it's later tonight it's 6 34 I'm having a banana I'm getting Andrew some dinner and daddy is getting a shower because he has to go to work here in a little bit but we haven't really done much we just been hanging out the house relaxing because we're just exhausted <laughs> but dad you want to see my elf they already saw him this morning but anyway this is it for today we're gonna pick up tomorrow we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the night because daddy will be leaving soon so i think he'll be laying with me tonight or sleeping in his room i don't know just depends. I don't know. We might watch a movie. But anyway, this is it for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Bye. Peanut butter jelly. And a banana. <laughs>